Hey, I'm Alexandra Harbushka, founder of Life with Herpes. And today I wanna to talk to you about the antiviral medication that you take when you have a herpes outbreak or when you're diagnosed with herpes. When you're first diagnosed with herpes, you get this phone call from your doctor and you're like, oh my gosh, I have herpes, now what? Now I have to take this medication. What medication? What am I taking? Why do I have to take this? What happens if I don't take it? What happens if I take it? All this fun stuff. Well, not really fun, but it's, it's it is a whole new world that we probably were not exposed to because why would we know about herpes medication unless we had herpes? Okay, so first of all, I wanna explain that if you are diagnosed with herpes, if you do have an outbreak, I personally recommend take the antiviral. It is so helpful. It really does speed up the recovery. It does help you with your pain and it, it just, it works. The sooner you get the antiviral into your system, the better it is. So if you get it in within the first couple of hours of an initial outbreak, then chances are you can cut down your outbreak to half, um, even down to a couple of days. So that is really good news. A typical outbreak can be, you know, two to three weeks without an antiviral, and you can cut it down to like five to seven days. So um, it's really important. Now, on the reverse side, unlike any other type of bacterial infection, so I like to use the example of strep throat. I can also use my thumb right now as an example. Um, I'll tell you in a second what's happening with my thumb. But if you have strep throat and do not take the antibiotic for strep throat, then that can be very serious, right? It can go into some other things. In my, in my personal situation right now, I had a, a hangnail that I did not clip. I instead uh, ripped it and it got infected and now I have a sore thumb and an infection and I have to take an antibiotic, right? So that it doesn't go into my bloodstream, really bad. So similar to, uh, not similar to herpes is the, the taking the antiviral, herpes will go away on its own. It'll take its time, it will take longer, but it will eventually go away on its own. Not to be confused with that it stays with you for the rest of your life. That's just the way viruses work. You have herpes for the rest of your life with or without an outbreak. Unlike a bacterial infection, like my thumb, like strep throat, you need the antibiotic to get rid of it in order for it to be healed and for you to be healthy. All right, just wanna clarify that. There are two types of methods to get this antiviral in your system, on your system. One is a, a pill that you take, another is a topical. So first, I wanna talk about the pills. There's three forms of pills. Now, I didn't wanna mess up any of these names, so excuse me for having my notes. I don't normally do this, but these are some pretty big medical terms that I do not wanna mess this up. So the number one is acyclovir. Its branded name is Zorvax, or Zor <laughs> is, Zor Zorvirax. This is the oldest pill. It came out in 1985. Um, it is, it is, it, it works, it's safe. They've done tests on people for being on it for more than 10 years. So it is, it is the first one and it is, it is very well rounded and well used. The next one is Valacyclovir. The brand name is Valtrex. So we hear Valtrex used a lot. I'm personally, personally, the one I'm prescribed is valacyclovir. Um, also, it's it's a part of the family of the acyclovir, right? Valacyclovir, they all kind of sound similar. Um, this one is very efficient as well with getting into the virus and keeping it dormant. And the third one is famcyclovir. And it's from this family or the branded name of famvir. Personally, I've never used this one. Um, I don't hear it used as often, but this is another one. It helps the replication of the HSV virus in your body. So all three of them are very good. One's not necessarily better than the other. There might be different uh, ones for your particular body. So if you're on one and you're getting outbreaks or it's just not working with your particular system anymore, talk to your doctor and say, hey, I have the generic, maybe I need the branded, or hey, I'm on this one, let's switch to this one. Um, so just, just talk to your doctor. Why do they prescribe one over the other? It could be your insurance. It could be one that your doctor just prefers more than the other. So there's lots of reasons. And again, just use this as a conversation to open up with your doctor and, and, and ask. 
but the most common I hear are valcyclovir or valtrex. So that's usually what I hear. Okay, now we have the topical, we have a cream. So we have actually acyclovir as a cream form as well that actually came out prior to the pill. It came out in the early 80s and I believe 82. Um, and so the branded name for this ointment or the, the cream is called um, Zorvarax. Again, it's the same, but it's not in the pill form, it's in the cream form. And then we have Pencyclovir, and the brand name is Denivir. I don't know how you get Denivir from Pencyclovir, but whatever, you get it that way. Um, I'm not as familiar with these creams. Personally, I've never used them. I've never been prescribed them. I have heard people in our community, in the Life of Herpes Secret Society, I have heard them say like, hey, I got this cream, I use it topically. Um, this is totally up to you. I, I, hey, why not if, if, if it helps? But I'm a big proponent and I'm a big fan and it has worked of taking just the antiviral. That really, really helps. Again, use this as an opportunity to ask your doctor. I want you to know what, what else is out there, what you're taking. Um, some people prescribe, um, some of them are higher doses, some of them are lower doses, some of them are three times a day, some of them are once a day. Um, just talk to your doctor and find out what is gonna work best for your system. So this gives you some power to go in, be educated, ask, and, uh, and know, know what's going on in your body. All right, I will see you all soon in the next video. If you have not joined the Secret Society and you don't know what that is, go join it. It's an online community of people living with genital herpes, oral herpes. It's a beautiful, beautiful community that is created by people all around the world. And we have live video chats and we are just chatty Cathy's in there. So come join. I'd love to see you there and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.